What is up, YouTube? It's time. EdF has come out with another song. Y'all don't know how long I've been waiting to analyze one of his songs since I've started this YouTube channel. We ain't gonna waste any time. Let's go. All right, right off the bat, I just want to say Clouds is one of NF's best songs. In my opinion, it's even better than Intro 3, which was my favorite up until this point. All right. It's definitely his best music video. If you haven't seen it, please, on God, go check it out. You won't regret it. All right. This man, <laughs> this man and his team, they're geniuses. Okay. Geniuses. Now, before we begin with the lyrical analysis, I just want to praise the gem that is the musical production for this song. NF has said in interviews that he listens to the film score composer Hans Zimmer, who is famous for making movie soundtracks for blockbuster hits like The Dark Knight, Interstellar, and Inception. Right now, what would be your favorite track right now at the moment? Honestly, one of my favorite songs right now, I think it might be Hans Zimmer from the Inception movie. I think, I think it's Tom Zimmer. It's like, a, I listen to it, it's called Time. Therefore, it's no surprise that we see NF and his production team use similar music techniques such as orchestra and choir sounds in his own beats. Another thing to keep in mind is that there isn't a chorus for this song, which is kind of reminiscent of NF's classic intro songs, which he would sometimes release prior to dropping a full album. Many listeners may have noticed that there's what seems to be gibberish at the beginning of the song. This isn't actually gibberish, but a coded message. And if you want to find out how to decipher NF's secret message, watch to the end of the video, and I'll show you not only how to decipher the message, but what it actually says. Calmly feel myself evolving. Appalling so much I'm not divulging. Been stalling, I think I hear applauding, they're calling. Mixtapes aren't my thing, but it's been awfully exhausting. Hanging on to songs as long as daunting, which caused me to have to make a call I thought was ballsy, resulting in what you see today. Proceed indulging, as always, the one trick pony's here, so quit your sulking. NF positions multisyllabic rhymes at the start and end of each of the first eight lines. Multisyllabic rhymes, which are referred to as multis in rap, occur when multiple syllables are made to rhyme between words. And this man just goes crazy with it. Like, if I don't know if y'all can see the color chart I made for verse one, or at least for the first eight lines of verse one, but godly, like, it looks like a goddamn rainbow. Oh my god. NF is careful to pronounce certain words in a specific way to ensure that the multisyllabic rhymes occur, which is no easy thing. For example, he makes sure to say exhausting instead of exhausting to make sure that all three syllables in the word rhyme exactly with been awfully. If he said exhausting, that doesn't rhyme quite as well as exhausting with Ben Offley. Do y'all see what I'm saying? In these eight lines, NF is saying he has songs that he's been hungry to share with his fans who've expressed their own hunger to listen. However, for reasons he doesn't specify, he can't share them in the usual album format and has thus resorted to satisfying his hunger and that of the fans by announcing the release of a mixtape. He also states that he's been evolving would suggest that he's improved since the last time he released music. He refers to himself as a one trick pony. Rap is the one thing that he does that entertains us. No social media antics, no controversies or rapper beef, just the music. So he's a one trick pony. Born efficient, got ambition, sort of vicious, yep, that's me. Not artistic, unrealistic, chauvinistic, not those things. Go the distance, so prolific, post cryptic, move swiftly, unsubmissive, the king of mischief, the golden ticket, rare sight to see. NF goes insane with the rhymes at this point, so I'm not gonna highlight all the rhymes with colors and stuff like that. Just know that the man barely uses one syllable rhymes from this point onward, okay? NF will sometimes include hidden messages in his social media posts and music videos regarding his future projects. This line is a reference to the plot point in the Willy Wonka slash Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, in which a golden golden ticket was hidden in a select few chocolate bars for people to find. Therefore, this line implies how rare NF is and how rare of a treat this mixtape will be. 
the rigid, I'm playful with it, yeah, basically. Too great to mimic, you hate your bitter, no favoritism, that's fine with me. Create the riddles, put trade in civil, unsafe for little, oh yes indeed, it's plain and simple, I'm far from brittle. NF has a clever habit of creating catchy riddles in his songs. Look no further than Options from the Search album in 2019. School bag without the pliers, intros without the choirs, new car without the tires, music without the writers, UFC without the fighters, smoking without the fire, cigarettes without the lighter, Austin Powers, no Michael Myers, that's me. If I ain't get the bars, you see, some ain't right, think I'm incomplete. He also provides a riddle in this song, though, which we'll actually discuss shortly. I'm far from brittle, unbreakable, you following? I'm Bruce Willis in the train rack. I'm like trading in your car for a new jack. I'm like having a boss getting upset because you asked him for less on your paycheck. I'm like doing headstands with a broke neck. I'm like watching your kid take his first step. I'm like saying Bill Gates couldn't pay rent because it's too broke. Where am I going with this? Unbelievable. Yes, yes, inconceivable. Now, if y'all didn't know this, I am a massive fan of the Unbreakable trilogy directed by M. Night Shyamalan. So seeing that NF is also familiar with the series is mind blowing. Some of you may be more familiar with the second movie in the trilogy, Split, which came out in 2017, or the third movie, Glass, which came out in 2019. But the specific reference he's making is from the first movie, Unbreakable, which came out in the year 2000, in which Bruce Willis's character was not only the sole survivor of a train wreck, but also completely unscathed. No damage whatsoever. NF is providing hypothetical scenarios that are too crazy to believe in order to show just how unusual he is. Notice the lines afterwards that remind listeners about the purpose of these hypothetical scenarios. Unbelievable. Yes, yes, inconceivable. See myself as fairly reasonable. But at times I can be stubborn, so if I have to, I will rock the boat. I don't tend to take the easy road. That's just not the way I like to roll. Here's a detail that is pretty random, but I thought was worth mentioning. At this point in the music video, after NF punches through a wall with his right hand, you can actually see his wedding ring on his left hand. I don't see married rappers wearing wedding rings very often, so I thought that was pretty cool. In case you didn't know, NF has often played a significant role alongside his producers, of course, in crafting the beats for his songs. You know, I'm very involved in like being in the studio, you know, listening to tracks, making the tracks with the producers I work with. Rock no rollies. I don't hang around no phonies. I don't really got no trophies. I don't know why God chose me. Got some in the cup and codeine. Changed my style, they told me. Now they come around like homie. Man, y'all better back up slowly. Back up slowly. Rollies is slang for Rolex watches, commonly referenced in rap songs as a staple trademark of success. NF is saying that his aesthetic differs from most in his industry. And here is the perfect mixture of humility and self-confidence. He's saying that even without having special accolades, his position in the rap game is divinely appointed. Codeine is a narcotic, so NF is saying that he lives a sober lifestyle, which he's mentioned before in interviews and other songs. People around NF have said that the message and sound of his music is too different from mainstream hip hop to succeed. But when he excelled anyway, they wanted to leech off his success. Come slowly. Who are you kidding? How could you doubt me? I've always delivered. Ripping the teeth out of the back of my mouth. The close you get to my whistle. See my initial thought was the way. But what can I say? I had to come visit. Check on you guys. You're doing all right. You're yeah, really socked. Yeah, that's what I figured. They cover their heads up whenever I drop. Shake the whole industry. Put them in shock. Come out the clouds like a meteor rock. Then land in the earth like ready or not. At this point, NF switches to a triplet flow, similar to what you see in Cardi B's Bodak Yellow. I go to dinner and steaks, only the real can relate. I used to live in the peace, now it's the crib with the gay. Rolly got charms, the life was the place. Or in songs from the Migos. It's a flow commonly used in trap music, but he pulls it off pretty well anyway. However, in this particular song, the kick and snare drum sounds only occur when NF is using the triplet flow, and when he's not using the triplet flow, they don't occur. This is simply a play on words. Wisdom teeth are located at the back of the mouth. By pulling them out, he is proving his dedication to his fans by offering them wisdom in the most raw way possible. These lines are allusions to 2020, which was difficult for most people due to the pandemic, but also hard on his fans because NF didn't drop an album in 2020. A double entendre is used here. His fans put headphones on when he drops music, but people naturally protect their heads during natural disasters such as a meteor crash. Ain't no one like me to cream me the crop. Don't even front, but give me some props. I'll pick up your body and throw it a block. 
Okay, I admit it, that's over the top. Not! Deer in the headlight looks every time I step my foot on the ground. I get mistook for a lame with no weight to his name. Ground just shook, let's not beat around the bush. Even my B sides throw him off like how he do it. Some say I'm a great influence. I don't know about that, but I did do the best I could. Cream of the crop is a common saying. It originates from the fact that when you leave raw milk in a pail, the cream rises to the top and is considered to be the tastiest portion of the milk. Therefore, NF is saying that he rose to the top of the music industry and is the best of the best. Deer in the headlights is an idiom for a look of shock or fear. I get mistook for a lame is a double entendre. The first and obvious meaning is that people inaccurately assume that he is a boring nobody. However, lame is also an archaic way of labeling someone who is unable to walk. Hence the previous line in which NF says, people look shocked when he steps his foot on the ground. Notice the two impact sounds after he says, wait to his name. That's one impact for each initial in NF. B-sides are the untitled secondary tracks on an album that typically do not receive as much acclaim or attention as the A-sides or main tracks. B-sides could also be interpreted as besides, a word that is followed by side notes or secondary comments that aren't actually his main message. In other words, NF is saying that his supplementary material alone blows people's minds. NF is saying that fans who think he will sell out actually don't know him at all. Throughout all of verse 2, NF goes insane, like I mean insane with the triplet flow, all right? So it's no surprise that he also brings back the kick and snare drum sounds that are iconic of trap beats. A camping metaphor is used to signify NF staying at the top, and a hunting metaphor is used to signify NF taking down competition without hesitation. This is one of his best music videos. So the big question we should be asking ourselves is, where is his head? He says we know where his head is, but where is his head? Well, longtime fans might recall a line from his song Outcast from his 2017 Perception album, in which NF raps, I'm not the music, my head's in the clouds, during the chorus. Remember how at the start of the clouds music video, we see NF imagining that he's in the clouds? That's where his head is. It's in the clouds. If you don't believe me when I say that's where he's saying his head is at, Let's look back at that gibberish at the start of the song and see exactly what it was saying. The reason it's hard to make out what NF says in the intro of the song is because the speech is reversed. When I put the music through an online reverse audio generator, here's what he was saying. Did y'all hear that? He said, heads in the clouds. NF's reuse of this line from his Outcast song might be hinting at the nature of the future Clouds mixtape. In fact, it might suggest that the mixtape will be discussing NF's Outcast status in hip hop, though we won't know for sure, of course, until it comes out. Well, that's pretty much everything. If you think I missed anything or misinterpreted something, let me know in the comment section. I would be very happy to have conversations with y'all regarding this song. Again, at this point, it's my favorite NF song, all right? I'm fanboying so hard, but like, oh man, he blew my mind. The wait was worth it, y'all. Tell me if y'all agree. I'm out, deuces.